hey guys welcome back to my channel what do you know about decorative ceiling decorative ceiling was first introduced in america in the 1870s it was made of metal now in in this era and time you have a lot of different types of decorative ceiling here is an example of so is there other types you, of decorative yeah, ceiling yeah. Um, do this. Is there anything else that you're going to do with the roofing? No, we're not going to do anything else to it. There's a, you're like a plaster man from where? He will come now and when he comes now, he will just cut the uh -huh. little edges there. The little edges, he will just cut them with some cork. Uh -huh. and anything what is cork? Cork is a type of... Okay. Huh? Yeah, just because you can't have it in number 16. Right, yeah. Six, 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 Silicone, you have 100% silicone, but cork is that, that type of silicone. That is, it's not 100% silicone. So what are you doing there now? I'm catching the angle of the corner. You know? So you're measuring it? Measuring it. And I'm going to cut it. Using? We normally use the saw. Is that a power saw or an hand saw? An hand saw. We have gone back to the primitive times. We are living in modern time now, but we still use an answer because no electricity. How thick is how thick is um the type of material that we are using? Yeah, what type of material that you're using? Yeah. This is a 316 Celotex. 316 Celotex decorative Celotex. Right? Does it come in other colors, style? Many, many, many different colors. Many many different colors. It's a kind of little expensive more than the ordinary. It is um expensive more than the other solid text. Or a screw that one that's kind of problem. So it is it is solid text. But we Jamaican call it solid text. So you still have to talk, make people them understand. So yes. we are talking. Yeah. So you are cutting this at what angle? Uh, at a thirty-five degree So is there a special way to cut it? Yeah. Because I see you lay it on the back, so I want to know if there a special way of cutting it. Right. The reason why we have to lay it on the back is because when we lay it on the back, it cuts and then fit on the right side. Finish it right. What? When you cut it on the back side, uh -huh. you flip it over and on the right side. So what is that you're doing to it now? Beveling, B E V E L I N G, beveling, meaning chamfer. You just chamfer the edge as it lies on the top. Oh, so you're beveling the edge, yeah. meaning yeah. you're yeah. smoothing yeah. off the edge. Beveling. Is it that you're smoothing yeah. off the edge? Yes, kind of. Give it a little chamfer. C H A M, chamfer. So is it that you have to use a special nail screw or um No if you install it we just use one inch one inch head nail. You can use screw so you can use drywall screw to install it for them. So is it that the drywall screw is going to give it a better finish than the um no, the one inch 
Neil, you have better finish than two D drivers to a blackhead. So this is available in any hardware in Jamaica? Really and truly, you know. On Robin Comic Con Cinema Kanya. You want them we still fight different friends now? Yeah? So you work all over Jamaica then? All over Jamaica. Hmm? I am known as Chief Charlie. So um is it that this type of roofing is more expensive than a than a decking? Wow! Far, far, far more. Now that this kind of roof here, decker tiles. Decker tiles are more expensive roof than concrete roof. And a roof always adds value to your house. Concrete doesn't add the value that a roof adds. So you're saying that the concrete more devaluate the the the, the um. Building, right. You have a decking roof and a person has a decorative roof. This building is gonna far more expensive than concrete. Concrete roof is gonna cost a lot more than this building. And you say it's maintenance free, it's not high maintenance, it's maintenance free. And these designs, it's normally when a person wants to design it, it's Okay, so um most people that sometimes work with they use a thing called drywall. And in that they can use some recessed lights that they cut out and put on the sides. So which is better? This one or the drywall? I rather the drywall because it's more you can give it a perfect finish or, you get, you get or more, more refined. You get a more refined finish after the last man finish it. It looks like when a decking put up and dress up. Beautiful. You know? So this yeah. is not going to be plastered, just no. the, the um the edge is gonna pop. Okay. So you don't wanna what do I hand it to the edge? Yes. Oh press up. I have to go to so all measurement has to be accurate. Accurate, right. Sometimes when a, when a place is not square, chiller will work. You know? You know the basic. So you all four normally works together? All four, sometimes all the other will. Okay. We all work together. You know, we have a nice steel. You know, we have nice steel. Yes. Very, very nice steel. Yeah, man. So you're the one that cut it. I do most of the cutting. I'm the cutter. <laughs> and he's the one that install. And he's the one that install. Okay. So you all have experience in different types of roofing and um So what is the um the most expensive roof? Most expensive roof? Mm -hmm. Uh stone coated decorative. Stone coated decorative is the most expensive. And what is that? That the painted what is decor tile? The covering that you see like the orange color on top. The covering. Okay. And that one is maintenance free as well? Yes. Once you put it up there, you have to do nothing more. And it lasts how long? It won't suffer in no hurricane. You understand? No hurricane can. So this roof, does it have hurricane straps and um... Yes. All oh, this roof is pure hurricane straps and well done, well done. All and all stuff that's quite. So were you the one that did it? Yeah. Okay. You were the one that did it. And how many days does it normally take you to um... Do a roof like this? Yeah. And that week, two weeks. Two weeks completion. Yeah. Two weeks completion. We see it. We see it. Mm. Okay. Right. 
Roof and ceiling. Uh, with roof and ceiling, it takes yeah. you two weeks. Yeah. So what if somebody wishes to contact you? Is there a business card yeah, or a business card and number? Yeah. We can give you one of the little business card. Yeah. Make sure I put your business card in. And this is our business card. This is the bedroom. This is the finished look. It's not fully finished, but this is how it looks when it is. All the pieces are completed. Yeah, this is a master bedroom. When all the pieces are completed and um, filled in. All right, so how many nails do you have to put in it? Hold it. Huh? How many nails do you have to put in it to hold it? And they have to have a support on the back to right. hold the nail, right? So this can hold a chandelier? It may for a chandelier. Right where you see that nail is, there's a big piece of 2 by 6 there. You can screw anything on it as heavy as a box. They may have to take a chandelier in the center. So that's the center? Yeah. They put extra support. Yeah. Okay. So is it that you're going to make something exactly looking like you? When just go through and go doing things all of them. So it can go everywhere in the ceiling. From here in our to everywhere. Yeah. Okay. And so is it that the trap um roof, the trap door, yeah. is it going to look exactly like um Yes, this is the cover for the trap door. It's gonna cover up back. You understand? 
So is it that is it that you're going to put something else under? Like a picture frame, like a framework around the edges. Okay. Yeah, and then to... that's the thing. Okay. And that's a finished job.